Hey guys, what's going on? Have you been wondering where are all the set numbers that are going to be coming out uh, for the summer wave? I, I have them right here. I put together a collection. Uh, there's a lot that have question marks, so I don't know. And there's nothing uh, right now that is confirmed. We just have a list of numbers and prices, and we're taking our guesses. And so I'm going to take my best stab at what these are going to be, and hopefully we get some of these. Of course, Rex, Rex is at Y-Wing is going to be on here. It's got to be. It, it's on every year until they re re release it. So maybe keep on guessing it, keep on uh, telling Lego we want it. It's going to happen, right? It couldn't hurt. Um, yeah, so we have a couple gaps of numbers that we don't know. Pre price, piece count, anything of that. But the first couple are the 4 plus sets with 75358. That's the $40 4 plus set from the Tales of the Jedi, or Young Tales of the Jedi that takes place, uh, I believe, in the High Republic era. Uh, that really young three, four year old uh, Disney plus Star Wars show. And of course, then one right after that is another 75359, and it, it is $25, also takes place uh, from that show as of right now. Uh, any of this stuff can change, um, but next, Going right down my list here, 75360, that's the $35 thought to be uh, skipped. The last one was like 2015, I think. Came with three minifigures for $30. Bump the price point, and maybe they throw in that extra minifigure uh, to make it four. You get the head of the Sarlacc, a skiff, perfect amount of pieces for $35. I think that works really nicely. The next one was 75361. It's a big old question mark. We have no nothing. But there should be a set in that spot for Star Wars. Um, usually they block out a big section of numbers and it goes in chronological order. And it should be some kind of set. I'm going to guess on the cheaper side or numbers and prices were mixed up uh, with the report. And next on the 75362, that's the $80. Thought to be Rex's Y Wing, it could be a scaled down ghost because the last one was like $90. They scale it down to the scale of the TIE Fighters and Y Wings, maybe, but uh, in my eyes, I think uh, that doesn't quite work. You really need a giant, a big size ghost. Um, so I'm not quite sold on the ghost, but I could see a Y Wing with a lot of minifigures. Could make sense here. Most Y Wings are right around that $60 price point, but there really isn't anything in that price point. The $45 set could be it, but I'm not sure. I'm going to have it in a couple spots here. Uh, and then we have the 75363. This is the $15 set, but this isn't quite making sense to me to be a $15 set, so I'm, I'm not quite sure on this. This is right in the middle of all those expensive sets. We, got, we just had the $80 set, and the one after this is the $100 set. Then we got the $160 set. So this $15 set being put right in between those numerically doesn't make sense, and I think it's a different priced set uh, that we're just being misled uh, here by um, his gathering sports reports. It's still January, we really don't know much. Um, but the thought is that the $15 set could be either those minifigure packs again, uh, but numerically it doesn't quite make sense, or those mechs. Or, in this case, maybe it's not a $15 set and we got the information wrong. Uh, the rumors will kind of clear themselves out in the next couple of months. Moving right along, we got 75364. This is the $100 set. Uh, my thoughts and are leaning towards the Bad Batch set, either Season 1 or Season 2, I'm not really sure. There's a lot of things you could do from Season 1 that works for Season 2. I'm thinking it's like a Republic attack shuttle, something like that, or maybe something totally different. You get some Imperials, Imperial clones, and maybe a couple members of the Bad Batch in their new armor. Throw it in for $100, probably have like five or six minifigures. Uh, I think that works really nicely there. 75365, I think this is, a hundred, this is the $160. Uh, I really want to say gunship here. I really want to, we just got the ATT. Uh, there's never been an ATT that has been released without a gunship. Uh, so I think this is where Lego's going to put uh, that gunship. And it's going to be a regular Clone Wars or Episode 2, Episode 3 gunship. They did Episode 3 gunship. I'm not really sure what they throw in. I don't think that they do 
the 212th Legion. I don't think it's going to be a wolf pack, but maybe they, I don't know. I don't know what they're going to throw in there. Uh, next set, 75366. This is the $45 set. Leaning towards, this could either be Rex's Wyoming or something from uh, Return of the Jedi. Now that $35 set is a Return of the Jedi set as well with but I don't think this has anything to do with Jabba or Jabba's palace. I think it has to be either like an Endor, uh, Ewok kind of set. It's kind of similar in size to the Republic fighter tank. That 270 pieces. Something like that. Maybe it's like a trebuchet with a couple of Ewoks or something like that. And we have 75367. We know absolutely nothing about that. We just know this number should exist for the Lego Star Wars line. 75368 is a $15 set, as well as 75369 and 36370. All three of those are $15 sets, uh, leaning towards mechs or minifigure packs. And then there's, of course, the direct-to-consumer uh, $200 set. It's not going to be UCS or Master Builders, it's going to be almost play scale, just an expensive, kind of like the Tannery 4 that came out a few years ago. I think that might have been in 2009, but that was like $200. It was a direct -to consumer, but it wasn't, you know, it had black box art to symbolize 18 plus, but it was really, maybe this was newer than 2009. I could be wrong on the year here. It was supposed to be the second version of that, but something like that, and maybe it's a ghost, I think. That, that's a perfect spot. Make a giant, you know, pretty good sized ghost, throw in the whole crew um, that's going to appear on the Soka show. Uh, it's a good set for people to want to pick up. That uh, old playscale ghost is uh, right around that price anyway. And that's, that's uh, I first set 75371 was the set number on that. And that's going to do it. That's all I got for today. Um, Stay tuned for uh, more news, and I'll be dropping those as soon as I know. I check it pretty frequently. And go ahead and smash that like button for me. And if you enjoyed this video, consider subscribing right down below. And I'll see you in the next video, right over here.